next chapter that uh, now we are going to start it is cutting and joining DNA molecules. So, this is one of the basic step in the field of gene manipulation. So, before 1970s methods that can cut the DNA into discrete fragments they were not available. So, when fragments were not available of particular size then further cannot be proceeded that is DNA cannot be manipulated into a suitable vector until we have fragments of a reasonable length. And even if some restriction enzymes were available they were not suitable that we are going to discuss later on. And some chemical methods were available but they were producing very short fragments of the DNA. And the only technique that was a little bit applicable that was the mechanical shearing of the DNA. That mechanically DNA it can be disintegrated into a solution into small fragments. So, initially this mechanical disintegration can produce shorter fragments that may be between 300 to 400 base pairs that were not preferable. Then later on this technique of mechanical shearing was revised and scientists were able to produce comparatively larger DNA fragments. That is when DNA it is subjected to a high stirring like 1500 revolution uh, per minute continuous for half an hour the larger fragments of up to 8 kilo base or 8000 base pairs can be generated. Then the main breakthrough came in uh, 1970s when phage biologists they elucidated the pathway or mechanisms of restriction and modification. So one group of scientists was able to isolate restriction enzymes from uh, E. coli K12 strain. And then it was uh, thought that it will work in the field of gene manipulation because now scientists they can cut DNA by using some uh, biochemical enzymes. But later on it was realized that it is also have no benefits. The reason kya thi? Why that restriction enzyme that was isolated from S. Geratia coli K12 it has no value. So reason ye thi ke iski jo cutting thi uh, wo non-random thi rather random thi. So it can randomly cut the DNA fragments when it when it is randomly cutting. So the desirable fragments were not obtained. So because of this uh, random cutting uh, this was not practically useful in the field of gene manipulation. Then after a few years later scientists discover another valuable restriction enzymes from another organism uh, that is called Haemophilus influenzae. It is also a bacterium. So, this se jo enzyme isolate kiya gaya uh, ye zyada valuable tha. Uski reason kya thi? The reason was that it can cut the DNA fragment at a particular recognition site and within a recognition site it can cut the DNA into discrete fragments. Now the desirable fragments were obtained and uh, then they can be used in the field of gene manipulation. 